our devotions for today, the first day of Lent. We'll listen to the word of God as it's found in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. In the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God. From the very beginning, the word was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. The word was the source of life, and this life brought light to people. The light shines in the darkness, and the dark has never put it out. God sent his messenger, a man named John, who came to tell people about the light so that all should hear the message and believe. He himself was not the light. He came to tell about the light. This was the real light, the light that comes into the world and shines on all people. The word was in the world and through God made the world, sorry, and though God made the world through him, yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own country, but his own people did not receive him. Some, however, did receive him and believed in him. So he gave them the right to become God's children. They did not become God's children by natural means, that is, by being born as the children of a human father. God himself was their father. The word became a human being and full of grace and truth lived among us. We saw his glory, the glory which he received as the father's only son. John spoke about him. He cried out, this is the one I was talking about when I said he comes after me, but he is greater than I am because he existed before I was born. Out of the fullness of his grace, he has blessed us all, giving us one blessing after another. God gave the law through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only son who is the same as God and is at the Father's side, he has made him known. Amen. We ponder God's word to us in silence. Let us recite the words of the Lord's Prayer together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I look forward to catching you again tomorrow as we remember our devotions together. God bless.